Turning to Democracy 2016, the day after Hillary Clinton's trip to the tri-state, it was Donald Trump's turn to impress voters at the American Legion National Convention, which ended today in downtown Cincinnati. Of course, Trump has been very busy traveling all over the U.S. Over the past couple days, he's gone from Washington down to Mexico City, of course, to meet with Mexico's president. He's been to Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, to have a big uh, immigration speech there. We heard yesterday and then, of course, here to the Cincinnati area and to the Buckeye State where he's had more than one event. Uh, receiving the Republic, after receiving the Republican nomination, this is his first visit to the Buckeye State, and he's been very busy. Nine on your sides, Roseanne Aragon was there today and has Trump's message to supporters. Roseanne? That's right, Craig. Trump had a standing ovation despite being 20 minutes late. Some even said that his welcome was warmer than when Hillary Clinton came just yesterday. Peace through strength. And pursue a state-of-the-art missile defense. One of many promises, including American unity, securing U.S. borders, destroying the Mexican drug cartel, eliminating ISIS, and bringing jobs back to America. But particularly, Donald Trump made several promises to these veterans at the American Legion Convention. We will make sure our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines have the best equipment, training, tools, a total reform of the Veterans Administration. For every veteran, in America gets timely access to top quality care. I've laid out a 10-step VA reform plan that you can review on my website. The words that were said today, the message, I think hit a lot of us a little bit more to our core values. Others asked how. I got to wait and see if he becomes president exactly what takes place because actions speak louder than words. But just outside the center, Legion members, including local leaders, voice their opinions against Trump. He believes he knows more than the generals. He insults our troops. He scams our veterans. He doesn't understand the definition of service. He's unfit to lead. The Clinton campaign responded, calling his words empty and his plans costly, reckless, and irresponsible. Now, Trump made one more visit in Wilmington, and our Jay Warren has that covered for you at 6. Reporting live, Roseanne Aragon, 9 on your side.